Hey there, Internet. Little change of theme, kind of. Normally I post about comic book making stuff, but I have uh, some thoughts. So a friend recently shared this. Do you know what Antifa is? A lot of people heard about it recently, but a lot of people don't actually know what it is. This is a comic artist-themed Antifa-style badge. Well, yeah, we could do that. And absolutely, anti-fascism all the way. To be clear, a little background. I am a old, not really an anarchist, because I would never actually identify myself if I were an anarchist. What? Well, so my father was counterculture, and I very much kind of grew up in that mold. And by the time I was in my late teens, I was anarchist adjacent. I hung out at Who's Emma, uh, an anarchist uh, bookstore and gathering place in Toronto, and uh, was involved in actions and things. But if anyone asked me, are you an anarchist? I would respond, a real anarchist would never answer that question directly. A real anarchist doesn't wear a circle A on their shirt. They don't join clubs. They are not members. Take from that what you will. Um, the core idea of anarchism that I still truck with is this. Institutions, invariably over time, no matter how well-meaning their initial formation is directed by, ultimately become self-interested in their own self-preservation -pre and perpetuation over their initial goals. So the whole reason that uh, Antifa, the original Antifa, uh, and for that matter, uh, anarchists, pure anarchists, things like the Black Bloc, aren't actually organizations that you can decree are terrorist orgs is because they've always pointedly never had a central core and in fact shouldn't really be standing symbols. The red flag in the anti-fascist banner is for socialism. The black flag is anarchism. There, it was originally a coalition before World War II fighting fascists and the point wasn't actually to knock heads. That was on the list as a possible thing that you would do. But Antifa was meant to be a buffer to meet fascist violence, which was happening a lot, toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Be prepared to go and fight them if need be. Not to start the fight, but if need to be, end the fight. And then disband. It's not a standing organization. It's not an institution. It's not an, a, a terrorist operation. Um, however, here's the problem. Young American kids who are adopting the Antifa theme ethos don't understand that and a lot of them are just wearing all black which is not the antifa colors it's black and red um and starting fights and smashing things indiscriminately there's also assholes proud boys uh white nationalists you name it putting on variations in the garb there was very famously one in minnesota who kicked off some of the violence by walking around smashing windows He's probably a cop. He was outed possibly by his ex for wearing her pink gas mask while he carried a Hong Kong style umbrella around. That wasn't an Antifa guy, and he probably wasn't a black block either, because black block walk around in troops, in groups. There's always more than one. This was one solo guy walking around calmly before any violence was happening, randomly targeting a business that had nothing to do with anything. That's not what either group, when they're actually following the ethos, do. And here's the problem. These symbols have been corrupted. So as an old, not really an anarchist, I'm going to tell you, time to walk away from them. We don't. We don't need either. The point is to be anti-fascist, not to wave a fucking flag. And if you're walking around waving a flag, you're picking a side, getting ready for a battle. That's not helping Black Lives Matter. Helping Black Lives Matter means standing with them, if need be, standing between them and the police and being prepared to take a hit. But don't hurl insults, don't throw rocks, don't pick a fight. You think you're defending your neighborhood by going and mocking heads with Proud Boys? No. Stand in front of the buildings the Proud Boys are trying to smash. Stop them. Don't fight them. Call the cops. Let the cops fight them. Don't be engaged in that stupidity. That's what the cops are for. And wearing a badge or adopting one as a bunch of comic artists who largely, to be frank, don't go out and fight, but make statements. I don't think we're helping anything. We don't need the flag either. We don't need a badge. We just need to say we're anti-fascist. And if you're railing on social media or fighting in your neighborhood, 
senselessly and thoughtlessly without understanding the actual traditions behind Antifa or the Black Bloc, which was, by the way, first and foremost, to lend aid. A lot of them were first responders. If someone got hit by a tear gas bomb or something, you'd rush to help them. And then you might stand between them and the police lines to make sure that they got help and were safe and not carried away. If you aren't doing that stuff, you don't need a fucking badge. You just need to say you're anti-fascist. That's all. And if you want to go help protesting, if you want to go help by protesting, don't pick up a brick. Stand in line with Black Lives Matter protesters. If you need to, stand up for them. But do not initiate. Do not start the violence. I'm not a pacifist. But starting the violence is dumb knucklehead behavior. Knock it off.